good morning everybody welcome back to my channel it is 7 a.m precisely on the dot it's an early start this morning we are gonna go into town myself and tom and barney barney's in the back and we're basically gonna head in this morning i want to go to primark and we were up early and i was like well i might as well get there for opening because it's always quieter and easier to film when opening therefore i thought i might as well bring you guys and get some vlog footage show you what's new in maybe do some trial clips if we see any of the new fashion bits that i like and then of course anything that i do pick up i will haul at the end of today's video i'm just gonna rest my arm on the dashboard here because it's, it's aching already it's early it's early primark opens at eight and um so we have an hour beforehand i mean it'll take us 20 minutes or so to get in because you were running later than me but also i'm blocking can't block um, we're going to go to Moose Coffee and see if they've got a table beforehand. They're dog friendly, which is nice. Well, do you remember last time we went in and they said, um, we were like, is it dog friendly? And she was like, yeah, only well behaved dogs. And then Barney went and jumped on the sofa. The sun is out this morning. There's literally not a cloud in the sky, so hopefully it's going to be a good day. I don't you can hear me. You don't need that on, do you? Full blast. But you've got 25 and your heated seat on. Cold. I'd put that on you, but you'd probably yeah, swerve the car. My cold, ah. cold hand. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. I thought I would vlog today, pick up the camera. Tom's office, luckily, is dog friendly. So Barney's been in there a few times, hasn't he? And just chilled with you whilst I've um, either been busy or whatever. Um, so yeah, dogs allowed in the office. I'm not. What? What? Oh, people in your office don't. I was like, I can't even hear what you're saying. What, what do you mean you're not allowed in? So anyway, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you're comfy, relax, grab yourselves a nice cup of coffee, tea, whatever it is. I'm definitely going to have a coffee this morning at Moose. It's like, if you've never been to Moose, it's like a um, Canadian pancakes. Do they do waffles? Pancakes, waffles, French toast, they do, don't they? Um, but I'm fancying something savoury this morning. Should we just get a savoury dish, a sweet dish, and just share? Yeah. No, because we like a bit of both. We'll, ju we'll just get a cup of beach. Um, I'm hungry. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see what we get when we get there. Barney, you're right back there. Barney. That was like a Barney with a yawn. Bunny boo! My sis! Bunny! <gasps> Watch me! He's like, sis! He's weird in the car. <laughs> he just doesn't. He completely ignores us. Bunny, speak! Bunny! What's this? <laughs> Bunny! Speak! 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 <gasps> it's like he just completely. Ignores us for putting him in the back. <laughs> I think he started not liking the boot of the car. Better get used to it, bud. You're about to have a smaller boot than that. I think. I think it's slightly smaller than a new car. Anyway, let's go for breakfast and then let's go shopping. Epic fail. Moose is closed. <laughs> Moose used to be open from seven, didn't it? It's open from eight now. So we're a little bit early, so we thought, we can't go to Starbucks, they're not dog friendly. Sure. Yeah, they're only dog friendly like outside cafes. I will get close to your heartache If you want to open your door mm. I'm feeling kind of lost when your mind is hiding Whatever that is choking your chest I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking Cause you're holding it back mm -hmm. Maybe you'll make up your mind Now I'm here by your side So let Let it all out of me. 
Okay, we've made it to the changing rooms. Just trying on, I thought I'd just show you what I am wearing today in case you were interested. Just a basic white tee from, I actually just got this from Sainsbury's recently. And then this is my Reese blazer. I did a styling reel on this not too long ago. My Chanel bag, my Lululemon leggings, which has a piece of fluff on it, and my Veja trainers. So, I actually have 11 things that I've brought in. Firstly, these shorts. If these fit, because I'm a bit funny with shorts, so if they fit, then I've got the two colours to to buy. I'm the sort of person that if I get something and I like the fit of it, I'm just going to get both colours. So they're £13, good for in summer, again just paired with a basic white tee, some sandals. So I picked these ones up in a 12 and then also the black too. And then I also found these pair of jeans, they're called the Mum Jeans Stretch High Waist in a 10. Uh, only £11 I thought was good because most of their jeans are sort of like 15 13 £15. Pounds. These, I can't do it because I've only got one hand, but these are super stretchy. I was going to stretch them out and show you. So I feel like getting a 10, if they fit kind of snug, but also the fact that they're mom style, that they're super stretchy, I just felt like for a jean, they might be quite comfortable. And I don't own a dark pair of jeans. And then I got some dresses. So I saw this one in like a really pretty dusky pink color at full price. But then, I know it's not ticketed, but then the brown, the chocolate brown one I saw, and these ones are reduced to seven pounds. They've got the linen blend. So of the two, the dusky pink and the chocolate brown, I would actually prefer probably the chocolate brown anyway. So I imagine this dress with my like new Chloe sliders and my Chloe woody tote bag. I thought that would look lovely in Milan. So yeah, I picked that up to try and hopefully I'll like that because it's seven pounds. I feel like that's a bargain. It's quite weighty though, so I do feel like it would be quite warm. Um, and then I got this, bit of a wild card here because it's quite a vibrant olive green. But in a 12, again, that linen blend at £15. The only thing I'm worried about with this dress is I feel like the buttons might gape, especially around like my bum and thigh area. So I'll try it, see how I go. But I do think it is really, really pretty, that one. And then the last dress that I picked up is just a good old basic strappy cream coloured dress at £15 in a size 12. I thought this would be um, really nice with the gathered waist, this strapless element for in summer, for when it's really, really warm, or like I say, on holiday. I like the length of it as well. Nice and modest, um, whilst having, you know, all the top bit open. So yeah, I really like that one. Hopefully it's not sheer. It doesn't look like it would be though. And then I did pick up a pair of linen trousers, in a size 12 at 13 pounds. I do feel like these ones might not be as high-waisted as I'd like, but we'll try them on anyway. And then to go with it, I'll try on this shirt, or even just keep on my basic white tee, but this shirt is in a 16. They did have all sort of sizes, um, but I feel like the fit of it, the smaller ones looked quite snug. So I did get a 16 linen blend again. They seem to have a lot of products with this linen blend element going on, which is good for me because I love that kind of linen texture. 11 pounds. Then I got this matching two-piece set from the Primark edit range. They have this this whole range of products. I wish it was bigger to be honest with you because it is lovely of, I think it's called the Primark edit. Slightly nicer quality, all made using sustainable fibres. Six pound for the top in a size small. And then the bottoms that I got I got them in a 12, no I didn't, 10 to 12, it's a size small at 12 pounds. It's a really, really soft fabric that I feel would be quite a nice um, little kind of lounge coward duo. So anyway, I picked that up and then just en route into the change rooms, I'm actually downstairs so I'm, I had a quick look at the menswear just for any good staple basics or anything. Didn't come across anything but then just as I was coming in I saw this from the chem range that he's got. So it is kind of premium price point for Primark but at £40 I love the quality of this. I love the button choice as well. It's like a really nice greyish and cream tortoise shell and this was the smallest size they had. 42 regular. They had 44 and 46 so I'll try this for like an oversized fit blazer. We'll, in fact, I'll try that on first and see what that looks like on. Okay, this blazer I am going to leave just because it's actually got quite um, like an inbuilt structure here on the top part, which I guess for a guy would like structure their pectoral muscles. 
However, I don't exactly want that, so it does feel like a funny fit, so I am going to leave this. It's definitely, I'd say, not suited for the female form. It's definitely a blazer designed for men. <laughs> so this is the sort of like co-ord lounge type set. It feels very comfortable, I have to admit, even though it's quite tight and snug. It does feel very um, loose fabric in terms of like... I don't know, it's very stretchy is what I'm trying to say. The only thing is, is because it is quite thin, I feel like if you were to go braless because of the kind of racer style, because otherwise you see the straps, it is probably quite thin and you might be able to see, you know, everything. But if you're okay with that, then I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. It's one of those things that I'm like, do I really need? Probably not. I would still recommend. I just don't really need on this occasion. Okay, let's start with the bottoms on this outfit. I definitely feel like, as predicted, they're not quite as high-waisted as I'd like them to be. They're just kind of sat on my belly button. Um, so I am gonna leave these. However, it's a shame because they're a lovely color and fabric, but they just, for me personally, they just don't feel like the right fit, the best fit. This shirt, however, I love this shirt. It's definitely something that I don't already own anything like this. I feel like it'd be nice paired with jeans, shorts, a skirt, even undone like over a dress as an extra layer or a bikini or something. Just a really nice lightweight linen um, shirt that is just unlike anything I own. So I am gonna pick this one up. I do feel like um, this would make a nice new addition to my wardrobe, this shirt. So yeah, really, really like that one. Thumbs up for the top, thumbs down for the bottoms. Okay, with this dress, I do feel like it's a lovely fit. Um, 15 pounds, I feel like it's a good price point. I do, however, feel like this, um, I didn't realize it was double lined, but only to here, and you can see it, which that bugs me. So I feel like I am gonna leave, leave this one on this occasion, but I do think it's really pretty. I just feel like it's a shame. I feel like you could take out that lining, but then it would be far more of like a beach dress because you'd be able to see underneath. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave this one, which which is a shame. If they'd have brought that double lining all the way to the bottom, or sewn it in, I'd have kept it. Okay, unfortunately, again, fit on this occasion, lets this one down just because the sleeves keep kind of dropping and falling, and the um, waist part, it's excess baggy, this is a 12 but around here as I thought it would be, it'd be, it's quite snug, so I wouldn't be able to size down because then, can you see it starts like gaping where the buttons are, so um, yeah, it's a shame really, but I did feel like this might not be the the right sort of fit on me, unfortunately, but um, yeah, next dress. This is the brown dress. It's a higher neck than I thought it would be, but I think with a nice sort of like long layered necklace or something, it would look lovely in gold, um, or like crossbody bag or something to break it up a bit. But I really like it, I think it's nice and like comfortable, relaxed fit. Right, I'm not even lying, found my new favorite pair of jeans. These are incredible, they're in a 10. Glad I went for a 10, because I actually have excess room, but it doesn't gape at the back or anything. They are so stretchy and so comfortable, I am, um, really impressed with them. They do have like a little turn up at the bottom, so I'm sort of five foot, um, five foot five-ish, but you can roll them down and that's what they're like, full size, full length, but I actually prefer the slight turn up on them. So happy with these. The only thing is maybe, I mean if I'm being hypercritical here, is this button is very, well I'm not even showing it, this button's very silvery. If it had been more of, if this hardware would have been more of like a, kind of rustic antiqued metal, I'd have preferred that, but I mean, what can you what can you honestly ask for for 11 pounds? So I'm really, really happy with these. These, by the way, are only four or five pounds, I think, four or five pounds from Sainsbury's, like I said earlier. This is just the t-shirt that I wore today, but uh, really impressed with these. They've got them in gray as well, so they are new in. I have got a couple of other basics and stuff from Primark, which are in my basket out there, so I'll show you those when I get home. And last but not least, these are the shorts. So I was trying to put my hand in the pocket there to, you know, style up casually. This is just the wrong fit for me. This is what I meant though by the button. I wish it was more like aged like that on the jeans. But anyway, um, it's just a real shame about these shorts. They're just a really, they were a struggle to get on. I feel like there wasn't much give at all. And then once they're on, 
there's just loads of like room on the waist they're super tight around here so these just are not a good fit for me at all so there's no point trying these ones on because they're the exact same just obviously in the darker color i do like the length of them though i like the fact that they have a pair of denim shorts that aren't like super short short shorts <laughs> short short shorts um i mean look how big they look but yeah on they're just so like tight and restrictive around here uh, but yeah so i'm not gonna bother trying on these ones but apart from that let's head on back out let's head to my favorite section the primark home section in manchester city center incredible so let's head on up hey i've been dreaming about you every night i see your clearest day it's just something about the way you make me feel because i can't concentrate anytime you're beside me yeah it's what you do to me i can barely breathe hey i've been thinking about you and all the words that i'm going say the next time that i see a pretty face because i can concentrate anytime you're beside me yeah it's what you do to me i can barely breathe it's what you do Oh, I forgot Tom drove this car this morning. <laughs> My seat's all the way back. So, picked Barney up. He is in the back there. He had a good morning in the office with Daddy, didn't you? And get back and get you some breakfast. It's probably a bit, a bit late. It's already half ten. That's late for Barney. So, pretty successful trip i actually refrained this time i didn't get loads i feel like it's a lot easier taking you with me to be able to show you bits try them on in store and then anything that doesn't fit or that i don't like i can still show you the fit of them on in the change rooms but obviously i don't have to then bother with doing all the returns so that's quite handy um maybe something we could do more often so i think it's time to head back now i'll show you what i did pick up i got a couple of homeware bits as well and i'm not gonna lie that banana bread just didn't cut it at 7 a.m this morning so i feel like i'm peckish already and it's only half 10. so i'm gonna have to think on that our hello fresh box is coming tomorrow so we haven't got any food in basically oh sweaty upper lip at that sula Here, what's that film where they say sula sweaty upper lip at that is it like wild child or something let me know let me know in the comments anyway time to get back and we'll see you guys when we're back home. Bringing the bags upstairs. Oh dear me. I um, <laughs> There's a couple of heavy homeware items in here. And um, it's really sunny outside. I feel like I might even take Barney out for lunch somewhere today. Just because I feel like I just want to appreciate the sunshine. And I like it when it's sunny but it's not boiling. That's my personal preference. Anyway, let's unbox the two bags of Primal bits that we've got. Obviously, you've seen some of them, uh, but I'll show you the other bits as well. I did also get, I'll show you after I've shown you the Primark bits, some um, bits from Gemma's Girl of Muse, Gemma and Jamie. Very kindly sent me the PR package on the release of their new line so she's very kindly included some bits in there so very excited to try those on and have a good look at those i guess there's no point showing you the bits that i have already shown you in the change room i will just reiterate though that these jeans please try them they honestly are the best fitting jean i've ever tried on most comfortable i feel like i finally found a pair of jeans that i feel like i could easily have in all colors 
um, and at 11 pounds each, they're a bargain. But yeah, just a reminder again, the mum jean stretch high waist and stay true to size, no need to size up or size down. They're nice and stretchy and very, very comfortable. I did also pick up some more of these socks. I think I showed these in my last Primark haul just because um, I have really been enjoying wearing these, especially for training in, for working out in, and um, they're lovely colors too. Three pound 50 for those. And you can find them, they're like in the, well, I usually get them in like in the workout section or pajama section, speaking of which. I got a little set of PJs. Uh, I recently had a bit of an organise of all my underwear drawers and pyjama drawers and I was kind of lacking on the shorter pyjama front, especially shorts with a strappy top. I've got a couple of pairs of shorts with like a t-shirt, you know, like a white company style collared t-shirt style uh, pyjama, but I wanted just like some more strappy type vest top pyjamas these are in like a beautiful brushed cotton they had loads of colors i actually initially picked up the lemon and then when i saw the gray i was like oh actually i'll just get gray because that's probably more more me and they're a bargain too four pounds so this is the little vest that i got in a medium and then the matching shorts again i pick, picked up in a medium now medium is 12 to 14 in primark but i do tend to size up in pajamas for comfort i'd rather be comfortable in bed than feel restricted so yeah that's that and then these are some bits that oh in fact i'm intrigued to see how much this one was Let's go and see. okay it was reduced so i saw this on a reduced clearance section and it was the only one so i was like mm, has someone just put that there um and if so let me go and actually get my size because this is an extra large so i probably would have liked maybe maybe a medium um six pounds and then because it was in that reduced section i was like it's either been put there or it's actually been reduced so it has been reduced it was three pounds so um the fact that i couldn't find them elsewhere that is probably why i still think an extra large will be fine though just a more kind of relaxed little strappy vest it's got a beautiful kind of uh rib to it it feels like a really thin knit which i feel like just elevates what is basically a vest top and just looks a little bit smarter it's a nice material so anyway bargain at three pounds then i've got these two basic t-shirts these are last of the fashion items that i picked up because i do you know what in store i thought that was more of a sage green but it's actually like a beige well anyway still like it got the black as well these are only four pounds shopping for me at the minute is not quite the same i don't get that same joy and excitement out of shopping and being able to get home and style it up and do all that because really i i don't have the space or the place to do that with stuff at the minute just because um Obviously we're yet to build the extension and also my shopping at the minute is very much so stuff for, you know, the renovations. So like utility room cabinets, worktop, sink, taps and all that kind of stuff. So my shopping is heavily within my renovation series. Let's just say that right now. So it is quite nice just to be able to take you in with me and then just get the bits that I really need rather than having to do a return if needs be. So anyway, got some incense sticks. We love burning incense, especially on Tom's Tom's room. Tom's always got like incense burning, especially when he's up there in his office. And then I do have one in our bedroom now as well. So I thought I would get these two to try as soon as though they are new in. So we've got the black one here is vanilla and then sandalwood both of these are a pound each and you get 20 incense sticks in there we do have plenty i'm not gonna lie but it's quite nice to just switch up with a different scent every once in a while uh, so i've got those to try and then i also got beautifully wrapped a i'm gonna say a vase but it's like a, an urn i thought it was very zara home h&m home it was only six pounds and it is this beautiful kind of ceramic stone textured pot with this handle design at the top. I kind of want to reorganize and do all that um, unit over there. Do you know what I really want to get in here? I've toyed with the idea of doing a full row of wardrobes um, in that corner so that we can move that unit over to this side and switch things up because i feel like with just this one wardrobe here and the one wardrobe in our master bedroom for me that's just not enough 
like I've nowhere to store my shoes, my handbags, and at the minute it's all kind of in storage downstairs, all a lot of the a lot of the stuff, but obviously that eventually is gonna need to be emptied out. So I'm a bit like, where am I gonna put like all my handbags and stuff? So and shoes. Shoes are the main thing. So we do have a shoe rack downstairs which has all my like everyday shoes that I've been wearing, but any others that I've got. Um, I'm thinking if I do a run of wardrobes in here, maybe doing a couple with shelves because the wardrobes that I've got are all just hanging space. So anyway, last item that I got is again from the Primark home range and I have actually already got this. I was trying to remember if I've got it in the bergamot or the green tea because I saw in stores they've got the jasmine, green tea and bergamot in the city centre stores. These big candles at £10 each are the dupes for the diptyque candles and they smell nice, this one bergamot, I think it is different, I think the other one that I've got downstairs must be green tea. But I have it burning in an evening and I'm down to about halfway through that one. It's getting to the point where I feel like I'm stopping burning it because I like the look and aesthetic of it too much. So I thought, you know what, no, let's enjoy burning it and pick up a new one. So £10, as soon as that one's done, I can replace it with that. That's the only thing when you buy a really pretty candle. You then don't really want to burn it because you want the look of that candle. I've seen on Jo Malone, they've done a uh, a post or it was sent out to me in an email, but they might have included it on their Instagram or something, but essentially ways that you can repurpose and reuse your used burnt candles. So once the burnt candles are done, you can melt out the wax get rid of the little wick thing and it just be basically a glass jar with Jo Malone on the front so they'd done one with um the biggest one using it as a vase which looks really nice and then they had the mini one with um like little matches white tipped matches and then the medium sort of sized one as a standalone candle and that looked quite nice styled up together anyway that's just off on a tangent there, talking about pretty candles. But yeah, Primark, I mean, £10 for a candle this size anyway is so affordable, so happy with that. Right, I'll pop those bits away later. I'll show you the bits from Girl and Muse now. I hope that they're still in stock, but I mean, we just never know, depending on the release date and how popular they are, but I'll show you them anyway, because um, you never know if they announce that they are gonna restock if they are sold out. Oh! Honestly, it's so nice receiving a PR package from Girl of Muse and from another fellow online creator. It's really nice to support each other and they spritzed it with something. This box smells amazing. Anyway, this is um, an, a little note from Gemma saying, Beautiful Freya, I wanted to send you a few pieces from our new collection, the Soul Energy Collection, launching on Friday 29th of the 4th. 2022 at 7 p.m. This empowering and motivating collection will help you embrace your soul energy, encouraging you every day to follow your soul's desires without holding back on worrying about society's standards. Find time for positivity. That's your little reminder out there for you guys to find time for positivity, I love that. So we've got a little cap here, which I feel like you guys know I like to wear my caps on my little dog walks that I do with Barney, especially when the sun's coming out. So now I've got my very own Gala Muse one. And then also these are what I'm most excited for. I've seen these teased online and I was like, I'm going to be purchasing them. And then when Gemma said, I'm sending you some bits, I was like, oh, so grateful. But anyway, these shorts, I wore my other ones to death last year i've still got them i still will continue to wear them this year they're more creamy the ones um from the previous launch previous release of these kind of high-waisted shorts and also they do feel like a slightly different um fabric different texture they feel super super soft so this is the soul energy comfy shorts in sandstone in a medium and then this t-shirt is soul energy oversized tee in chalk in a medium you can see very subtly on the front there there is a little embossed quote there it's on the shorts as well at the bottom that's what I love about it, they're so subtle I quite like that so this is the sweatshirt in the colour um, sandstone again and this is also in a medium it feels so thick and cozy and then last but not least this is called the soul energy half zip sweatshirt again in sandstone and this is in a small so this is as stated 
half zip in that exact same fabric as the shorts and the sweatshirt. Let's try these bits on so you can see what they look like for the fit. So here are the shorts and t-shirt paired together. Really nice fit. Again, like I said, nice and high-waisted and comfortable. They feel a little bit shorter than the other ones and... I think a little less high-waisted. I actually prefer the fit of these ones though. Um, but yeah, just worth noting, that's the only kind of difference I can feel. And the, again, the fabric as well feels slightly different, but uh, really happy with these. And then the t-shirt, this is probably definitely the color that I would get most use out of this chalk, but I am thinking about potentially uh, when it's released to pick up this in the kind of, I think it's earth something it's called the earthy kind of color because i really love this style and fit so much that again like i said when i like something i gotta get it in every color okay so this is what the zip up top looks like a really <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> really nice like i said oversized fit even though it's a small so definitely just stay true to size the length of it is quite long so i've just kind of tucked it up like that okay this is excuse my phone there this is the sweatshirt because of the kind of gathered bottom it does allow you to just kind of wear it quite casually a bit more loose a uh, bit more sort of tucked up but if you were to unravel it i've just put my leggings back on because i'm actually going to stay in this for the rest of the day i think um if you were to unravel it then that's the kind of length it sits at so you could if you know you're someone who's more comfortable with longer line sweatshirt so thank you so much to girl amuse for very kindly sending these bits over i'm in love and uh, let me flip you around i always feel like weird like talking to you in the mirror thank you to you guys for watching today's video hope you've enjoyed it do let me know if you are happy with this kind of style of in in store footage show you around show you a bit more than what i would just buy if i was doing a haul video um, and then it allows me to like try on and everything what's in store as well. So yeah, let me know if you're happy with this kind of style of haul, vlog style video. And I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.